Our mission is to help each person understand what they're created to be and then help them pursue what God's created them to do. So what's the age range and what are some of the typical issues you're seeing as they come in the door? The kids we normally deal with are between 11 and 17 years old and they come from homes, most of them come from really good homes, yeah. good Christian homes. Uh, just decided not to listen to the parents and not to obey rules and, and uh, so what we do, we step in, we partner with the parents mm -hmm. and um, help them get this kid on, on track. That's good. Well talk a little bit about the campus. It's a pretty big place you guys have. Well we have 167 acres. Yeah. God has given us a vision to really um, move toward agriculture and vocations. But uh, the reason why God's leading us to move toward you know agriculture and vocations is because you know a lot of kids leave with nothing to do. Yeah. And uh, so we you know helping them find purpose in life is also helping them find something to do with that purpose. What I love about this program is it's holistic, body, soul, and spirit. So talk a little bit about how you guys really approach it on all three levels. The way we do that is that, you know, God expects us to take care of our body. We have an emphasis on athletics and physical exercise. As a young man may come in and all he's done his whole life, or at least for the last several months of his life, is just play video games. And, and throughout the day, there's, there's times where there's exercise. So there's that, that, that physical uh, aspect where they've learned how to discipline themselves. And then there's emotional. The, the emotional part is a lot of kids come in with no self-esteem. Right. And as they begin to uh, be disciplined in their life, they begin to have self-esteem because now, now they can get up in the morning and we have two phases of our program. The first phase is called Jacob and uh, the next phase is called Isaac. Jacob in the Bible was a liar, a deceiver, um, a sub And right. so they come in as that's what they are. You know, parents have even written bio sketches saying this, right. this is what my kid is. He's yeah. a liar, he's a deceiver, he's, he's a manipulated family. And, uh, and then we, we expect them to go from that to being sons of promise. And, uh, and in the process of moving through that, you know, the first thing we want outward compliance because the thing the parents couldn't get at home was outward compliance. And so we're looking for outward compliance and then we expect inward change to come. And there's no lasting change unless it comes within. Yeah. And, um, and Christ is the center of our program. That's, that's who brings the lasting change. When you can come in and, and have a real relationship with yourself and know who you are, it, it changes your outlook on, on everything altogether. And I think that's what they're doing here is they're creating godly men. Since I've uh, arrived at uh, Gateway Academy, I've learned so much. I've learned, you know, that there, there, there is a chance for me. There's always a second chance through God and uh, that he, He's the only way, the truth and the light. God's good all the time, you know. He'll help you through through your strengths and it'll help you through your weaknesses. The good times and the bad times will be there for you. He's closer than anything we could ever feel and we don't, sometimes we take it for granted what we have and uh, just to really just, just love the little things. Stress resort though is that it's family restoration because when you're in a situation like this, it's not just the child that's falling or struggling, it's the entire family that's on a downfall and rumbling with it. So the family restoration is an amazing part of this program. There's staff here, like I said, with all different kinds of degrees, all different kinds of credentials, but uh, God called us here and we try to stick close together as a family, as a unit to help lift each other up. And um, we're really intentional about trying to have God change the lives of these boys and also the lives of the families that, that come in with them. Well, to the parent, I would say, if you want your son to have a change in his life and to know the Lord as his personal savior, and you know, to have a, a, a work ethic, a drive to, to move on and press in life, send him here. God's using Teen Challenge as a vessel to, to change me. It's, it's worth it for, for your child and for your family. So uh, definitely send him here because it will definitely change him. Let's talk about the school a little bit. You have you know, Christ-centered curriculum, so uh, you're teaching a Christian worldview throughout all the subjects. Talk about that. We actually have three options for education. Um, we have Alpha and Omega schooling, which are accredited, and they can actually get a, a, an accredited diploma from that high school that's online, it's online based. And we also do what's called Switched On Schoolhouse, which is another uh, schooling curriculum through Alpha and Omega, but it's server based, so we can do all that in-house. And then we also use ACE, the Accelerated Christian Education, PACES, uh, for some students that are uh, maybe middle school or uh, lower um, high school. And so not only they're getting education, but they're also learning more about about Christ, even doing their, their schooling. Talk a little bit about the length of the program and how some of the students are maybe behind coming in and how you kind of not only get them up to par, but maybe even ahead a little bit. And a lot of them are behind because, because of the actions of their past, um, you know, schooling just wasn't important to them. Right. And a lot of parents, they, 
bought them here because they have life control and addictions, but they also said, hey, this kid needs to get caught up in school. And so we've had kids come in with no high school credits and, and in 15 months graduate high school because it's, 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 awesome. it's uh, pace based. And so if they move quickly through the curriculum, you know, more, more studies are opened up for them so they can move, move fast. Mm -hmm.